Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to this afternoon's Across the Pond Hangout. Uh, your host with the most can't be with us this week, Jack, so he's jolly good at me to stand in and try and hold the fort for, for one week if possible. Uh, it's Amazing Scale Modelers Across the Pond Hangout, which tends to be what the general said about modeling and everything involved in it, be it plastic, wood, paper, you name it, we'll do it. Um, I'm joined this week by the usual people who join us, the usual suspects, as Jack calls us all. So welcome to everyone. I'll start up the uh, the chat line too, if anyone wants to uh, message us on that. I'll have a try and answer you or bring it to a conversation. Um, if, uh, from my Google left, if we start with James this week. Hi, James. Good morning to you and Ken. Good morning. <coughs> on this nice brick morning, this room. Well, I got uh, going, I've got, uh, or I know this seems like an ongoing really? project, but take, well, but I got, I got two more tra tracks of planking to do. There he is. Be careful with those clamps, you may poke your eyes right there. Uh, yeah. A really bad dose of clamps, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is just, uh, this is just a piece of what the clamps are on right now is that I've just, uh, Shaped that piece last night, so I still haven't removed the clamps this morning from drying. So then I got to shape it, shape that plank, and then glue it in place. So it's not been glued down; it's just holding its shape there. It's just holding its shape. Yeah. While the uh, while the wood dries. Uh huh. Yeah. Is there a problem with gluing it down wet, or is that no? Just no, nope, no. Nope. In fact, I do because what I'll do is the ends of the plank, I will re-wet them uh -huh. to make them fit better when I put them in. And I do put the glue in, so the the glue is water soluble, so it's not a big issue. It just gets I probably gets a little deeper into the wood. I'm just curious as to why that's two steps instead of one. You, you know, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go through all that clamping, why not put the glue down and do it all no, along. because because <clears throat> the length and the fit has got to be all sanded and trimmed. Got it. <clears throat> Before you do it, and, that, <clears throat> and also the ends of the plank have to be feathered. Uh huh. So it goes from this from this thickness down to down to paper thin near the end. And that's so that's to all got to be sanded down and uh, and feathered right down. So you do all that outside and then glue that down after you've feathered it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you set that down on the inside, then it's that that's done. That that one of the reasons you re-wet it is that the tips have to go such a severe angle that if you did it dry, you'd just break it. So it. so you have to re-wet it to make the wood soft. So when I clamp it down, it'll go nicely in in the sharp angle at the ends. Because if you leave it this thick. You'll get an ugly joint at the uh, <coughs> at the bow and stern plates. So. Yeah, that makes sense because you're it's like a clapboard on a house. It's uh, all the same thickness. Is that yeah? Is that the same principle as a ship? Then the same they would have to do the same thing in the center at the end. Well, in the center, you don't have a big problem, uh, but it's just the ends. Yeah, where you have to feather it. In order to get it to uh, fit right, so that the idea is it all comes together at the uh, bow and stern plate. So it's got to go. So in order for it to go right up against it and fit that curve, you have to feather it. You can't do it that whole thickness. I mean, I've seen people build it that way without feathering it, and then they got to use a ton of putty. But it looks ugly. So if you feather it, it goes in and makes it a lot nicer. Nicer finish. Have you have you got to the stage of being? I wish this was finished yet. I'm getting close. I'm stage. getting close to there. I'm itching to want to start something else. Yeah, yeah. I just want to. That's when he brings out the power tools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sand that thing down. <laughs> oh, turn vicious. That's always. It. No, uh, I mean, it's looking amazing. But when, when it's finished, will you stain it or varnish it or what will it well, be? Like? Well, just think the, <clears throat> there's a lot of, there's there's walnut trim on it. And this walnut, I w I've got tongue oil to treat it. 
so I've got tongue oil for the walnut. But the main part of the uh, the basswood, it's going to get mostly it's going to get painted. T T T-O-N-G-U-E oil. Yeah. Right. Never heard of that one though. Mm. Yep. T-U-N-G. Oh, tong, T-U-N-G. Sorry, I, th I was. Mm. I thought it was tong, tong, tong. No, it's tongue. <coughs> yeah. Right. Nice one. Mm. That's ridiculous, Joe. You used to be able to buy this, be able to buy this stuff in little, <coughs> little half half pint bottles. Yeah. No, you got to buy it by the quart. Right. There's not enough there to do a real like. <laughs> you can oil a lot of tongues with that. Yes. Oh, okay. <coughs> um, so, uh, so how, how many? How many? How much more is left to do then? Just continue the. Well, I got. To, I've got. I've got two more. I've got. This side, this side on this run of the uh, of that level of planking, I got one more basswood plank on top of that to do. Then there's a <coughs> a plank that goes right around the of the top of uh, walnut. That's not that's not a gunnel, am I noticed? Yeah, the, the the gunnel. Yeah, yeah, the gunnel, and it's it's walnut, so that goes around on top of that. So then, when that's done, then I got some trimming and uh, fitting the uh, fore and aft deck on it, and then working on the uh, the the, yes, the sideboards on the inside and the the seating. So. That'll that'll be nice when it's finished. Looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, really will be cool. I, I I don't know anything about ships. The only reason I knew the word gunnel was it came up in Scrabble recently. So yeah. <laughs> It was just a word, and my wife argues that's not a real word. Oh yes, it is. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, fun. Anything else for us, James, at the minute, or that's it? This is yeah. the thing. It's been the problem. Is, it's just such a slow process. Yeah. You know, I mean, you're looking at, <clears throat> you know, Ooh. well, so let's figure. I I did fitted that piece last night <clears throat> at around seven o'clock and then it's today and now today i might I could probably get to fit that so you're talking you know day and a half per plank you can't on. accelerate the drying mm -hmm. no i suppose the danger would be able to crack yeah no you can't you can't really speed up the drying process so mm -hmm. then you gotta go through this gotta do the fitting and then then the gluing and clamp reclamp it in yeah. first position again so you're talking almost a day and a half, two days per plank. So that's what makes it a very slow build. Oh, well, fantastic for that so far. Um, since since Wayne has joined us and it's no longer uh, two frames a second, Wayne, it seems to be, we'll move to Wayne now and see what Wayne's got to say for himself. Hi, Wayne. Hello. Well, I've been painting and decorating, repurposing my flat. So we've had a big move around. I'll to give you a sort of virtual tour. So, yeah, well, that's a custom built one. That's cost fifteen pounds altogether. Nice. And then we got some small work to be done. Moved all the furniture around. Got a new bedroom, new kitchen, and I've got some new shelving. Oh, that's just begging for models. <laughs> yeah. That's that. sitting there. Not much at the minute. Everything's in the box because, as I say, I've had people painting and decorating and they're using one of them big rollers and it splatters everything. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Cool. So you don't want models. I have working on stuff at the minute. Uh, I'll say most of it's in the boxes at the minute, but I can get it all out yeah. and show you. To go and if I can recommend one thing I bought myself, I was, uh, one of my biggest issues was everything was everywhere and I could never find anything because always in a pile of this and a pile of that. Oh, no, it's what it is. I've uh, put in boxes because everything's been painted on oh, it yeah. and uh, you get all the spray off the rollers yeah. and everything like that. But it's just for storing things then. Um, yeah. is, do you have a, a b and &M Bargains nearby? Uh, or, sorry, yeah, oh, sorry, uh, the range, I beg your pardon, the range is the store. And no, we have a BMN um, models. So. The, the, the range are doing doing these. Um, <laughs> you can see this. Yeah, which is color coded. Um, and I, the problem was, I had everything everywhere. I'm still trying to sort everything the contents of it all. But it's an amazing little set of uh, drawers for thirty five pounds. Yeah, 
um, which holds, you can categorize because of the color difference, one's for paints, one's for sandpaper, one's for tools, just as a recommendation for some, someone's looking yeah. for some to store stuff in. Well, I, went, I, went, I went, I saw the Dinko's foot popping for sale for a bit, I haven't been on for a while, so. Oh, no, it's nice to see you. Um, um, what, what are we working on anything or is that just put on hold because of uh, the... i have been working on it i need to go and get it because it's just oh yeah drying up back in a minute mm -hmm. oh. i felt hello you're welcome The difference in your internet connection is amazing, Wade. So. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hear me. I was saying your your connection's superior compared well, to it was, it was removed because the PC's nerved to the Wi Fi signal now. So yeah, that's, that's a massive, massive difference. Right. That's uh, what I've been painting this morning the Challenger 1 Mark III. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all um, the. Um, there's some more stuff to go to it. I've got some Russian boxes, some Jerry, extra Jerry cans, the uh, personal equipment bed roll, the uh, rolls, but there. Yeah, the there you go. All of, I've got some resin top point because this is a. I'm just copying this from a picture on the line. Uh -huh. So I've got the exhaust stains on it and all that because it does put out a lot of. It's put out a lot of smoke, so that's. No, I've done. still got ten percent left to do. Are you doing a base or just as it is? Uh, just as it is at the minute. I try not to do. Too, I don't want to do too much at the minute. I've got a show. I've got a show next month, at the beginning of next month. I've been working on this character as well. Right, Panda. Ah. Mm. Mm. So that's coming on nicely. But let's like say everything's on hold at the minute. <coughs> Like last beginning, of June, end of June, I was doing a show down at New Lincoln at the Lincolnshire Life Museum, which is a local annual effort week, and we provide the models and they provide the venue. And we and they get but that's uh, no, I saw the picture on, on me, we yeah, that's uh, um, Tiger from. Tamiya, it's the Arden version. I'm using the Tamiya new colours on it. It's released a set of, of version twos of the dark yellow, the brown, and the green for because everybody kept complaining that its colours were too dark. And these were these mm. ones were I've got one in here. So So they've just they've re redesigned their original Base colours, yeah. Hmm. And say, this is what I was working on at the uh, Link Shark Museum. This is the Ming M1 Abrams tank. Why are you hanging on the main kits? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm a bit Thank sure. you. It's a really nice. Yeah, they are a bit fiddly though as well, so. So this is the uh, sort of the base kit, and I mean, this is about the full armor package on. Mm -hmm. That's that same box you showed us a month ago. Yeah. Right. So, but this comes with all the full stands, all the shielding, all the all the bits and bobs that go on it, and that's uh, one of the shields I've got painted. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I've got so far. I have got something, I did buy, spend some money, but I'm back at, it's in the tax away in a minute, but it's another gun down kit. So, oh, are, are, are we getting hooked? Are we? Has Mark Dunmore had an influence on you? No, not really. I just, I just saw it. It was one I wanted to get last year, but it was like on eBay, but it had gone. It, Come back, it pops back on eBay, so I thought I'll snap it up and before it goes again. But I went into Lincoln Mall shop, I've got really, I was really not pleased with what I found in there. I found a kit which I bought for nearly £60 from America. 
It was there for 20 quid. It's oh. a German half truck with the massive searchlight on it. Right. Mm. Well, so, so I was a bit naffed off about that, but let's said about that. Like I say, I've been doing my one to one uh, flap kit at a minute, so I'm being getting as much bench time as I can, but I've got myself a new spade proof, so I'm getting rid of all the fumes out the out the uh, flat, to not hanging around as much. So that makes a big difference, it makes an enormous difference, plus it's a lot healthier too, so yeah, yeah, um, that's not excellent, but I'm glad, glad to see. And I, I mean, it's just such a difference with the, the picture and, and the, uh, the, the frame rate, it's much yeah. better, able, able to hear and see much better, fantastic. That's yeah, that's good anyway. So, that's that's good. Good. playing the games as well now. So, is that deep? Oh, you get you get a higher frame rate, you don't get killed so quickly, yes, yeah, oh, excellent stuff. Is that you up to date then? That's me up to date. I say I'm going to the Peterborough Mall show in March, so I'm going down there. That's about it. I say everything, most everything's packed away on me on all the shelves. So until I get everything, until they finish painting, I don't get anything out. Mm -hmm. Oh, good luck. All the kids I've got are uh, in this sort of broken stage on my early attempts, so I'm not fussed about them. Okay, that's all right. Well, fantastic. Good, good luck with the rest of the uh, the redecorating. I hope it turns out as you wish. Get well, I, I did post a picture on Facebook of my uh, now bedroom. What I did. I don't know if it's in public or private mode. So I think I may have been gone wrong somewhere. To log in. Before and after. No, this is a, I think it's an after. Right. It's like that 10 years later thing. I don't, I haven't been tempted to do that. I couldn't find a decent photograph from 10 years ago. So. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me just find the screen share button. Mm. There we go. My handiwork. Nice blue. Mm. Thank you. That took me 40 minutes to pick on that colour. How many um, cans of uh, Tamiya paint did it take? <laughs> no, it's B and Q. <laughs> the tough part I is could, I I could do that B and Q did Tamiya paint. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have 200 little tens, please. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, and I hope hope he doesn't use a, 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 an airbrush to do it either. <laughs> I would say he's got he's got carpal tunnel for holding up the airbrush. <laughs> oh, no, we'll get, uh, probably, uh, was... no, we will have used one of them, one of them card ones. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or you can always do what Mr. Bean does and just get a paint a, a ton of paint and put a load of fireworks on it. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> for the best. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> Fantastic way. If we if we. Uh, since since he's just to your to my Google left of you, Wayne, we'll just have a chat with Randall if that's so just going randomly today as I always do. So. It's Hi, Randall. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> random Randall. Yes. <laughs> the, the random modeler. <laughs> uh, well, I've been making some progress with uh, Discovery. Um, <clears throat> I'll be back in a minute. My dinner's in the oven. We get it Open. now. Working my way around uh, masking the uh, the different panels and the uh, command module. Yes, it's 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 refreshing. Turn it upside down and turn it left a bit. You'll have a good emoji. Hmm? You turn um, it upside Turn it slightly to the left. You got a good emoji. Really <laughs> <laughs> happy face. Yes, there you go. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, quite a good one, that yeah. <laughs> hey, in, in space, there's no no such thing as an up. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After dealing with all those thousands of tiny pieces, it's refreshing to be able to play with the big, you know, the, the big three big pieces that make up the. It is. I, I have all the uh, pods assembled, but so far, no paint has gone anywhere near them. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I, I kind of like got burned out with the pods, so uh, the uh, cargo 
module, so I, I just went with the the, the bigger stuff. Um, Isn't that quite long, that kit, Liam? Yeah, it's it's. Uh, sorry, was that Liam? You're asking or me? Oh, you Randall, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> every time. You're Randall, almost Irish. Every time. You know, the same, like you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it finishes about forty two inches. God, that's quite big. So uh, it'll be going up on the uh, the the, to the top of the the shelving. It'll, it'll be longer than that light putting you've got there, probably. Yeah, it probably would be. Yeah, okay, this thing up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a good fun if I, if I uh, take it to any of the uh, the model shows. Yeah, good uh, luck. With that. <laughs> thank thankfully, I, I drive a, an SUV, so uh, fit shouldn't be an issue. I was just hanging out the back and put the little flag on the back of it. <laughs> yeah, long, one of those long vehicle stickers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wide load, yes. Well, not so much a wide load, it's just oh, a lot of yeah. long vehicle. I yeah. say yeah. wide load, but really refer to me. <laughs> like, you go to the home improvement store and you see the guy in the little hatchback taking home two by fours, and he's got it stuck out through the back window with a little flag on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> The um, antenna unit is the the one thing that is as you know closest to being finished painting. Um, going to gloss coat that and then uh, maybe run a, a light grey wash. Yeah, it'll be kind of the way I'll be going with the the cargo pods as well. It'll be all painted one color, but then uh, a light grey wash on them, just to bring out the details a bit. Um, well, the gloss wouldn't. The track from the, the scale effect or oh no it'll be it, it's uh well it'll be glossed obviously for the for the wash but then after the wash is applied and and, uh, and, and cleaned up i'll be uh, matting it again yeah yeah, yeah so uh, no yeah, it'll be just put the gloss on to get the wash something to blow over yeah mm -hmm. it, no, you, you, can't, you can't you can't you can't have a shiny discovery are you no. trying for march the 23rd <laughs> or not i don't know. Um, if, it, if, it's, if it's ready for then, yeah. yeah but uh, it'll not be. Uh, it'll be finished. Fin finished within the next month or so. But uh, I'm still leaving my options. Uh, yeah. Open. The for the spear, uh, leaving the top half, so we can uh, put in the. Uh, uh, Oh, the, you know, the photo etch and, and uh, resin uh, pod bay and, uh, st and stuff like that after I finished painting it. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of doing a. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I have to apologize to Lou, first of all. Uh, well, uh, I didn't buy your uh, masking set, Lou. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, on the plus side, I think I'm bumping up your viewing figures for your uh, your YouTube video build of this kit. Yeah. Uh, while I'm working on it, I have it in continuous loop. <laughs> 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 all, all all three videos of the of that build <laughs> continuous loop in YouTube when I'm when well, nothing, I'm making it. You know, nothing beats having somebody sharing somebody else's pain while you are experiencing your own. Exactly, and if you look at your viewing figures, probably half of those are mine. <laughs> <laughs> I look at my. I, look at my own. <laughs> I don't know if Lupus counts, Randall. I got cheating. <laughs> Four million views. Yes, three million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand on my own. Yes, he's the only one listed by name in my analytics. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, working on the uh, some of the the, the planer parts of the uh, of the engine reactor and um, i'm not going completely to town on on masking off anything around the uh, the rest of the detail it'll be it'll be treated the same as the the antenna and the pods with um like a, 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 a sort of a, a wash. Yeah. Slight, slightly darker gray wash Brando, it's very detailed isn't it yeah yeah it all goes together very nicely too there's very very little heart filler was harmed in, in putting that together yeah, they did a pretty good job of hiding the seams. Yeah. But, um, uh, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> yeah. My travels, I came across this, um, 
144 scale diecast of the uh, the Apollo Command and Service module. <laughs> so this is the same scale as this, and uh, the Apollo could nearly have fitted inside the, <laughs> the pod bay. Yeah, that's just yeah. dirty. Stop that. So <laughs> <laughs> that's been that. Slow, slow but sure work. And uh, and so far, I still haven't lost all my marbles yet. Well, it's important to keep them in one room. So at least they'll, if they spread out, you'll have them in the one room. Hmm. Yep. Well, so I've been managing to keep a lot of them in the box here together. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing I, I haven't actually assembled these. Are, these are just mounted temporarily on the uh, rod, the rod yeah. for painting purposes. That, is that the front half or the back half? Yeah. Uh, back half. It's the longest. No. Just, Is it just the back or the front, or front piece? I just the longest, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, Randall, if you if you're having troubles now, wait till you go. Wait till you you go to uh, trying to figure out which module goes on which piece. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I've been following your video, Bill, because uh, your idea of keeping them all marked, you know, separate, uh -huh. et cetera, was uh, one pretty damn good idea. <laughs> It comes up with them sometimes. <laughs> the blind squirrel catches a nut once in a while. <laughs> Is that you, Randall, up to date for the moment? That's me up to date for the moment. I okay. uh, did make a one small purchase recently. Sorry, Nita. Yep. The, the Royal Air Force are retiring the type. Next month, so I figured it was about time I got a decent kit of it. So. Yeah. And you well, well, it'll be started anytime soon or not. Oh, sure. So I just whacked the uh, the box that had all the uh, the cargo pods. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Thankfully, I didn't mix them up. <laughs> is is that a, a new kit of the tornado, or is it a it's new ish? It's been out. It came out in twenty fourteen. Uh, so the the detail the level of detail is good in it. Uh, the the wings have uh, deployed deployed uh, flaps and slats, stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, I, I assume we we obviously all know about scalemates.com. If mm. someone is is wondering about the age of a kit, or is it a reissued kit, or is it something that's been mm. released by Ravel but originally was a Hasegawa, however Academy kit. If you go to scalemates.com and basically search for the model that you're interested in, you'll find a reference to, yeah. uh, you know, it's a it's a, uh, a new design, 2005 or something, mm -hmm. rather than a 1970 raised detail model that's been it's, released uh, by 27 companies. It is it is one of the newer kits with um, color instructions. Yep. Nice one. Yeah. Are you sticking with the the, the kit? Markings or yeah, it comes with two two options. Uh, one is um, let's see. <clears throat> I think the glasses can't. No, I can't. Why do they have to print it in white on a back on a dark background? <laughs> For blind people. Yeah. Anyway, one six one seven squadron, the Dambuster squadron. So uh, I might just do it in, in those colours. Right, excellent. Um, that's about it, really. No, no, excellent stuff. Progressing on the discovery and mm -hmm. more kits to build in the future. Just oh yeah, <laughs> have any? Uh, add, adding to the uh, to the loft insulation. Yes, one of these days it's going to we're going to come on screen. It's going to go. Oof. <laughs> I have a loft that's insulated by polystyrene. Yes. <laughs> and Fantastic. some bits of resin and photo action. <laughs> Well, if we um, move on to uh, our East Coast contingent, Mr. Dalmaso, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I hope you all are all the same. I'm trying to come up with something to show you because I have taken all of the work I've done this week and pretty much boxed it up to send back to the people that are, are supposed to be getting it. So uh, let, me, uh, let me do a screen share here. 
and show you what uh, that's probably the best picture of the three things that I've sent off this week. Mm. I like the uh, the taxi. Yeah, that's the uh, the fifth element cab, and it is uh, yellow. It's yellow, <laughs> but it's purposefully done the clean version, not all banged up and uh, you know shot up with bullet holes. So uh, the the, uh, the way it came out of the factory before uh, oh, you weren't supposed to see that, Liam. I'm sorry. <laughs> you bar steer, you you bar steer. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of same pictures there, is it? By the next hangout, I hope I shall have my revenge. Do you think we're not going to the next hangout? <laughs> have you ever built another version of the uh, Plant of the Ape ship? I did the, uh, I did the, uh, la, 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 let me see, let me stop. Am I still presenting? I shouldn't be. Um, yeah, stop it. I don't want to be presenting. Um, I did uh, Drew's uh, Crow's Nest version of it. And uh, it, that that is a lot more accurate. This is the Monsters in Motion version, and it is way, way inaccurate. So uh, it was, uh, this one was just done as a, as a shelf sitter. It wasn't supposed to be, you know, anything fancy. It looks fine. Yeah, but I mean the well, it's, it's not accurate. Yeah, the proportions of it are so off, and and it's such a simple shape to get wrong. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it's like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a board cube, but it's gonna be instead of a cube, I'm gonna make it a trapezoid. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, a cube. I, I, I can have a Borg sphere as well as a Borg cube. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah. You know, well, okay. Um, uh i don't know if you're aware there's there's a book uh that was released recently about making of the plant vapes yes i I, heard, I saw that you got that i am i am eyeballing that with envious eyes on uh, um, amazon really really amazing i mean the detail and it's um, there's a foreword written by um chuck heston's son yeah and it's, there's just it's so like, much stuff about the making i mean ronnie mcdowell did a two-hour movie about the making of yeah it. How much more stuff is there? Well, I, the, the amount of stuff that was in this, there's a lot of stuff about Pierre Boulle, who wrote the, the original right. storyline, and all the stuff about that, and all the illustrations that were made for the first. I can't remember who it was. Someone else wanted to make the movie. And there's a whole series of things about that. There's a whole series of, of images of our vehicles they wanted to have in the in the movie. Right. Didn't, didn't come to, and the makeup, and and, ah, da, 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 and so on, and so right. on. It's... it's uh, how many pages? It's I think it's four hundred and fifty pages. Um, can't see it here now, but it is. It is certainly you get a Kindle. Kindle version is nine fifty, nine pounds fifty. So if you wanted just a digital version, um, I don't but, like digital books. I want to. Oh, I, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I have the digital version at the minute, but I'm going to get the book. I have. I've. I've dropped, I would, I would, I've dropped hints. Yeah, I would get a digital version of maybe like a, somebody's biography or something like that. Yeah. But if it's meant to be a picture to, to show you behind the scenes of something, mm -hmm. then I want to hold the picture in my hand. I don't want to look at it on the screen. You don't um, have to get continually refresh the screen because the, the 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 thing times out on you or something like that. Yeah, uh, and you, a book. I'm trying something. to hold the picture up where I can, you know. No, I, just, I like books. I'm old fashioned. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I agree. Um, there's a lot of stuff about the uh, the shop and so on, and it's just interesting. Uh, the mind, where they find. Maybe yeah. picking that thing up. Yeah. Um, it's 20, 26 pounds in the UK. I don't know what they're called in the UK price or probably about the seven dollars. Um, oh, and they're, they're probably giving them they're probably giving them away for free over here, you know. Yeah. Oh, no. How <laughs> much and it's, 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 over there? It's a witty tome. I'd recommend that. Anybody who's who likes the movie, they will find it as a lot of a lot of information that they probably weren't aware of, of about it. And you know, um, the the astounding thing to me about that series is they make the first one. It does well. It's probably one of the first franchises that, that was ever done. And then they start making, they start cranking those things out like one a year. It's amazingly quick how three, four, five, and you know, two, three, four, five, boom, 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 boom. 
and then every year it's like they half the budget. The yeah. next one is half the budget of the one yeah. before. The next one is half the budget of yeah. that and half the budget of that to the point where you're getting down to even the even the not not just the stars, but the, like the first layer of extras are wearing the pullover rubber masks. Yeah. Just that, that's how cheap they had gotten by the yeah. time they were done. Yeah, uh, the 20th century fox, yeah, of course, it will. Yeah, it but was, but it was one of the, it was one of the first. Um, I don't know. I think there may have been some westerns that were serialized like that, but it was one of the first franchises where there were movies in a series of uh, of a of a property like that. Yeah. Mm. If if that's you, if you if you finished all these kits and sent them off to their grateful owners, well, they have, they have they're still in boxes. They oh, haven't right, got yet. They're about to leave. Uh, yeah. So, um, what's next on the? Well, my schedule. My, my cab is next. I'm still working on my cab, and right. I am cutting out all of the window, all of the uh, windows, and the lighting, and all of that. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to be going. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, going nuts on getting this thing lit up. So you're going to multi-pass it. Yes, it's going to have the multi-pass. I'm going over multi passes over it. Yeah, it's a good, it's a great movie. It's a fantastic movie. It's a guilty pleasure. Every time it's on, I stop and watch yeah. it. It's like, uh, have you seen Valerian? Yeah, it's the same. Valerian's amazing, but it just that uh, it just went. Uh, Valerian, I think in a few years it'll it'll pick up like yeah. Element did. It was not Element wasn't popular when it came out. Yeah, it's, but it's, on, it's on TBS every weekend now. Yeah. And I think know, Valerian's going to be the same way. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, Valerian is uh, Jean, again a Jean Luc Besson film where just the images and the effects and everything you see on screen is just jaw dropping. Um, but it did very, very badly. Kind of yeah. never mind the storyline, just admire the view. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful to look at. The story makes no sense at all, but beautiful to look at. Yeah, um, again, lots of interesting spacecraft and so on, and that as well. It's on Netflix in the UK. I don't even want yeah, to it, it's so. also it was also uh, um, uh, same uh, same concept or same artist, not just Luc Besson, but uh, uh, the French artists, I think Mobius uh, and and yeah. Gerard. Yeah, um, it, 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 it's a comic. Had. It's a comic as well. I think originally, yeah, French, very very popular yeah. French comic. So yeah. Popular. It may have done well, done well in France, but not anywhere else. But I enjoyed it. Well, sort of like Jerry Lewis, you know, did very well in France, not so much, you know. <laughs> if, I, I'll, 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 I'll chat a bit about what I've been up to this week. I mean, I, well, I've been away this week. We were in Bristol because my daughter was moving from Cambridge to Bristol, which was enlightening—a very different city, interesting, up-and-coming city. Bristol would recommend anyone who's wants somewhere to visit. Uh, that's different, it's certainly. Not disappointing. I found it not disappointing in here, uh, except for the hills. Lots of hills. That's compared. Cam Cambridge is Bristol. Mm. Um, what do you say about Bristol City? <laughs> a bad, a very good football team. I think. I don't know. I don't know football. <laughs> uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Brist uh, all all thing in Bristol fashion or whatever that phrase is? Yeah. Yep. Um, Bristol yes. yes, and you see it all over the place. But, and they do have a model shop, which was a relief because I had been to um, obviously Cambridge. And luckily, the week we, are, we first went to Cambridge, the model shop closed. Uh -huh. uh, I, I hope I haven't had the same effect on the model shop in, in Bristol. But <laughs> it's a company called Antics, um, who have a chain. I don't yeah. know how many stores there are. It seemed a lot of Welsh stores. And uh, then. Oh, there's one in Coventry. Right. Okay. Is that, is that, that the nearest that's place like, to you? Like, that's the nearest to Birmingham. Right. Okay. Um, interesting. I mean, they had. I'll show you the sort of stuff they were doing. Um, uh, bear with me. There. Uh, screen one. Share. And up, 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 up. come back. There we go. Over. Sorry. Bear with me. Oh, there you go. So they had. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. They had. Uh, I showed this to Randall. They had. Uh, some Star Trek kits here on the left, Cylon Raiders. Yeah. They got stuff they got. Um, I, I was very tempted by the Chariot from Lost in Space. Mm. Oh, uh, it's a great kit. But it was £60, and I had a carry on bag. And uh, it, uh, exactly. um, that's Antics. They're in, they're in Bristol, Jamie. Um, Antics. 
uh, A N T I C S, but they do mail order, so you can order if you want for the sixty pounds. Um, and uh, all 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 prices that are UK prices, it's happy enough, you know, that that things weren't crazy. Um, I I was I don't know which which the Loren do you not have, Lou? Is it is it the third one? Uh, no, it's the first one. Ah, uh, sugar. I should have I was I, was, I should have contact because that's the first one at the bottom there. Well, the first one and the second one are virtually identical. identical yeah, just, just in case, or just in case you wanted to. Yeah. Um, and then um, they had a pile of uh, the uh, Aoshima Thunderbird stuff, which I again, Randall was interested in the um, the Fab One down here at the bottom, the Lady Penelope. Oh, I got to have that cutaway woolly mammoth. I've heard bad reviews about that. Actually. Sorry. I've heard very bad reviews about that Lady Penelope. Well, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, I know, I know. Uh, Bob did the Aoshima, and I think Randall has the Aoshima Fireflies. That was the one I, I was put between that and the Chariot. That was forty pounds, but again, that's still was too big for my carry-on. I just couldn't get it. It just wouldn't have fitted in the bag um, mm -hmm. uh, because we, we were over for five days and we had quite a lot of stuff in the carry-on bag, so I didn't have much room to bring stuff back with. Um, then, then, then for the rich people in the room, they had. The one thirty second scale hobby boss liber liberator, which is oh, wow. uh, over one hundred thirty five pounds. Yeah. One hundred thirty five pounds is actually quite reasonable for that one. One hundred thirty five pounds. Yeah, for one yeah. of those. You're getting a very big kit there, Jamie. But very, very big kit. Yeah. But but the one beside it, which is the the Lancaster, the one thirty second scale uh, uh, by um, Hong Kong models. That's supposed to be amazing but 360 pounds for an aircraft kit wow. Ooh. and that definitely wouldn't have fitted into my carry-on luggage i don't think karen would have been too pleased no you couldn't have just put a handle on it and made it one of your suitcases uh well yeah that's that would have been, that would have been an option they based? Uh, sorry where are they based uh antics of the shops they just go to antics just do a search for a n t i c s online they've got ones in cardiff swansea uh um, one in coventry still so right. coventry would be our local one yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah, i was assuming chatting, it's still there the guy in the shop said there used to be seven model shops in bristol <clears> and now <throat> they're, they're the last mm. um and i think going by the I, was, I visited twice going by the customers that were visiting they were all all our age group the usual story um yeah. and uh they were sort of half what uh, the shop would be laid out a quarter die cast a quarter railway a quarter radio control and a quarter um uh, model kits um and from chatting to guy it was it was the railways were keeping them in open um it's just model model kit sales are because they have to compete with online stuff and they just can't compete with prices um they had a whole range of paints as well. They had all the Mr. Hobby paints. They had all of the uh, MIG paints. They had all of the ammo paints. Um, so it was a very, very, very well stocked store. Um, they even had a, I hadn't seen before, there's a, an accessory set of photo etch and decals for the, the Galactica, the Mobius Galactica. I didn't see much sci fi stuff there, there, Lou. Sorry? I didn't see much sci fi stuff. In, on their in their online shop. That was, that was the first picture he showed. Yeah, just they, they probably don't list everything on, on the online store. Jamie, just ring them and ask them. They probably have it. It's like uh, our our equivalent in Ireland would be Mark's models. They don't list everything they stock on their website. You just go to this, phone them up and see what they have. Yeah. Um, but the prices were prices were equivalent to normal online prices. There were no bargains. Um, I did. Get, um, I couldn't leave without buying. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd wanted this in the past and I passed the dice and I always regret it doing it. So I got, got the, the mm. uh, uh, Warthog, the, the Thunderbolt 2, which again wasn't £25. I've seen it for 23 considering it was there and I would have bought it. Whereas if I'd, if I'd gone home and not bought it, I probably wouldn't have gotten around to ordering it. Uh, but again, it sets up, gets good reviews. It's quite a nice little kit. Comes with all of the, uh, the aircraft uh, weaponry. So if you want to really go mad, you can do all of the bombs, all of the. I say that's a okay. bomb there. Yeah. yeah, everything's there, and it's a it's a reasonable size when it's built. I mean, it, it's, so one, it's one of those planes that doesn't look right, 
unless it does have a yeah yeah a load of yeah full load on it yeah and it's you know 148 scale it's a nice size um that's what have i got my ruler here i haven't got my ruler here that's about, about 14 inches yeah that's about yeah that's right Look about that so it's it's doable in a nice finish as well so again it's an, an r1 for the stash but it's one i wanted so um i would have gone for the fire flash but 60 pounds for the kit a little bit mm, it's a bit of a stretch so my excuse was it was valentine's day so i i told karen she bought me out for valentine's day and and uh the fire flash kit doesn't have well it does include all the parts for all the elevator cars as well but um for the actual aircraft part of the kit you you, you wonder like where would that 60 quid be you know? yeah yeah it's it's there's nothing really there. there's a couple of clear windows which are the the, the windows in the tail which are where the pilots were i think yeah so the cockpit was in the in the, the vertical tail yeah and the also they thing. had uh, like a, a lounge in the in the wings mm. <laughs> which is that's been that's been talked about as an option for aircraft to keep standing going to do something like that yeah um other than that i've been back to to trying to to do some more work on on the 129 scale uh reveal x-wing um and I, ha I had 3d printed the cockpit and i was very happy with the results i got from the 3d print but from talking to other people online and from seeing our reviews the problem is the solid resin there's no way you're going to put optical fiber through this so what i'm trying to do at the minute is cut out the resin um so i can reduce that all of that down and then it won't be so much of a of a, a job to get the optical fiber up through the parts um, it, can you just make like flat instead of filling it all in just make um, the, the outer I, shell i i need to to learn how to 3d program or 3d design Lou, that's the one thing i don't i can print these things out fill the uh -huh. code, but i don't know how to edit the files got you Kit parts crap. <laughs> yeah, because you because yeah because uh, Liam, Liam you could you could use uh, in your slice or something that's got what's called a a sure slice a slicing tool and then you can you can cut the model yeah and make it two or three pieces. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a the company 3D Falcon Parts, a Falcon Parts 3D uh, produce all of these things in in uh, high res. Uh, i think it's i think it's the dlp resin you know the stuff that's that's uh a bath of resin yeah the detail is, is oh it's sls yeah, yeah. yeah. Both pieces. james talked and he went off screen yeah sorry so i mean that that that's that, that's been sanded in a bit because i was hoping to do that that's been sanded down where oh, uh, hell of a difference isn't it? yeah oh, i mean the the, the, the kit parts <laughs> we're talking yeah. about so, um <laughs> Uh, I, I have thought about the idea of trying to sort of enhance it and make it look better. I mean, even the pilot, I mean, the pilot, I 3D printed the pilot. And it's fine, yeah. the 3D printer come out of the hand. Hands aren't perfect, but again, because that's all going to be in the cockpit, you're not going to see it. He, he, may, he may, however, suffer an amputation to the legs, but we should see how that goes, if we can get him to fit in without having to defile the poor pilot. Um, but uh, it, it, it's getting there, it's working out. So, I mean, once, once I've got it all put together and properly aligned, um, it will be a much, much, much better cockpit. There's a lot, a lot of filing, a lot of fitting issues to do, but it, it just, just looks so much better than the kit part. Um, so, but it's, again, as we were chatting to James earlier on, it's typical of me to, to not leave things alone. I want to make it better if I can, but I'll drive, <laughs> but I'll drive myself nuts trying to achieve it. Um, that's and how long did it take to 3D print that? That's about 12 hours. Blimey. But in, in terms of cost, that's about 75 pence of mm -hmm. 3D filament. So so that's that's the beauty of it, Jamie. It's you know, if, if you can get your ha your head around it and you're happy with the, the quality of the results, then yeah, go for it. It's it's fantastic what you can do with it. Um if uh, our our two remaining victims, sorry, victims, and that's not the right word, our two remaining Visitors today, <laughs> Phil and uh, Jamie. I know, Jamie. Do you want to chat about your 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 fit issues with your your F fourteen? You were telling us about. Uh, yeah, just because I'll, I'll, I'll mention it because people have um, were online with life. Um, I haven't actually. I've got the piece drying off at the moment, so I can't show you that. What what I can show them is. What we're talking about. What you're the, the cockpit 
once you assemble the cockpit piece, it wouldn't fit. Yeah, in. it's basically this section here. This piece, the two sides of the cockpit that fit together on the cockpit itself, they just do not fit. There's massive issues. And like I've been, you know, the advice I've been given is basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand these parts down. A, a, silly, a, a silly question, but the cockpit fit together, sorry, the fuselage has fit together, no problem at all without the cockpit. Yeah. Right. As soon as you, as soon as, as soon as you put the cockpit in, you get the problems with the fuselage. And and your your definite the alignment is correct. There's, there's, there's Could, a good um, yeah. Pins Could you right? temp temporarily tape the two halves together and then tr see if you can slide the cockpit up? Mm. No, you can't because you've got you've got this box bit that sticks onto this bit. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Well, get the gear well. The gear the gear, well. Yeah, it, it, that actually glues onto that. So uh. and plus underneath here, you've only got this little hatch here where the wheel goes. Mm. Have, have you already attached the, the, the gear well to the cockpit? Yeah. I was going to say, if you, if you could try it without, just to see if... And you put, you've put the... You can get one side on nice and clean, and then you can take that off and get the other side on nice and clean. You just can't get them to join up. No. It, there's, there's too much springiness in it when you're trying to glue the two pieces together. Huh. Even too much the, to hold the pieces together to let them dry. Do the, do the, pieces, just, do the pieces actually meet? Uh, no, there's actually they they. It's, well, it's, 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 the, it's the width of it's the width of the cockpit. Yes, it's stopping the, uh, the the pieces for for and half of it from from actually get. Well, the the only real way or the only solution really would be to very carefully sand down the edges of the cockpit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Very 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 slowly, very slowly, dry, and dry fit, and keep dry fitting, you know, until until you actually get the fit that you're after. Yeah. It's yeah. the only way around it, but um, I think from what I've heard of that kit, you might be doing that for quite a few uh, places. Mm. But the, the, on the plus side, this kit does come with a lot of extras and a lot of resin parts. I mean, the one thing I did notice, if I can just show you, I'm just them up in a second. <laughs> I see, Paul, you posted that the Coventry store isn't open any longer, yeah? Yeah, I mean, um, it was four years ago that, that, right. that I went yeah. there. Um, um, uh, it's not listed on their website or anything, and, so and I can only assume they closed it. Yeah. And Carwin's uh, mentioning on the, um, the, the chat that uh, the Cardiff Car Car store is about to close because it's been relocated. So yeah. the, one thing, the one thing that I was really pleased about this kit, and... For detail, it's they're, they're really, really good. But just get one out. Antics, sorry, Antics do have a good presence at model shows, by the way. That, that you know, they usually have a stall uh, uh, at many, many of the model shows. Definitely yeah. Telford. Right. Definitely. Yeah. The, uh, oh, the cockpit? Oh, the seats? Yeah. The seats. Oh, wow. Are, mm. yeah. Is that, a, is that a resin piece? Yeah, these are all resin pieces. Yeah. They're very, very, I mean, even to you know the, the bits on the sides that really are back it up a little bit back up a little bit yeah back up, back oh yeah there you oh, yeah. go yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. very oh. very very detailed and you know apart from the fit issues i've had you know some of this stuff is that detailed you know it's is there an alternate yeah. resin cockpit that they make or no, the cockpit is part of the kit. No, but I mean, is there an aftermarket part that you could get that would fit better? Um, probably, probably could, but um, no, no, you shouldn't know. have to spend that kind of money. No, I agree. Money. I agree. You shouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you check Edwards or something like that, see if they've got a. Well, it's it's an well, Edward kit yeah, anyway. Oh, sure. it's an Edward kit. Yeah. I mean, the, the other resin part of this company is such a detail, I think, is like. You got these are really hard details. Yeah. Oh, wow. It looks like a bit superb kit. It's just it's a pity there's the, the fit issues. Yeah, it's just the fit issues on it. I mean, if you look at the intake of these, the detail, I mean, I can't get the right angle for these. Mm. That's a solid piece as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It, they've even got the, the 
grooves on the inside of the wow you're not going to see anyway but they're there yeah <laughs> yeah so, they spend some of that time making making sure their pits their parts fit together oh god yeah i mean it's like the details on the inside of these these the afterburner jet bits if you look at these Oh yeah, yeah, nice. But they are really, really good. That's that's what, one of the reasons why I got this kit. But I didn't think I'd have those sort of fit issues with the cockpit line. Just t takes a lot of fettling to yeah, get yeah, yeah. things to fit. I mean, if I don't know if you can see it. Um, I mean, the, it's not raised, but the detail on this is like, can you see this? Ah. You see it? I, I'm, I'm just looking online, and I mean, the reviews are all very good on it, for that I can see it. It's a Hobby Boss kit, isn't it, apparently? This is a Hobby Boss original kit, is it? It is a Hobby Boss kit, yeah. Hobby Boss, was, I don't know, maybe it's Academy, but... Uh, uh, pardon to uh, uh, the various different ones I'm looking at here, so... Uh, just trying to see if anyone else is having the same issue with the fit. Um, and you've got all the photo edge for the cockpit, and uh, the front yeah, of the engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it actually comes with all that. Hmm. Jamie, I hate to ask, but how does the uh, canopy fit on top? Is, it, is that fit okay? The canopy? Uh, we haven't got that far yet, no. And it's uh, it's ninety five euros. Seems to be the ongoing price for it. So you you got a bargain with the price. I can show you with the uh, yeah the bar. I've got a real bargain with the price on this. Give me a sec, gosh. If I can just get. I mean, it's come well wrapped and everything. I can take the canopy out. Of these. See, the canopy comes like this. Hmm. Well, oh, I'm over here. Give me a second, I'll show you the canopy. The way around that would be if the canopy doesn't fit terribly well, at least you can put it in the open position and uh um yeah, but I'm just thinking if it's if it's a width thing, make sure the canopy fits the width. Mm. It's really, really you know, clear as anything. Yeah. And see, um, it has a, the, the mold seam line down the cent center of the line of the canopy there. Yeah, I mean, you've even got the rivets, if you look, on the mm. canopy itself. When, when you look at the, the quality of, of that, yeah, someone, that's someone's funny set. That's this kit, is it? That's that kit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I just don't understand why I'm having problems with it. If you go back there one, Liam. Um, sorry, that one? Yeah, it's, it's that fit around the edges I'm having. That's, um, it's just not pushing together on the. Uh, they've done it with the nose open, haven't they? Hmm. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to have the nose closed on mine. Um, so it, 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 might be, it might be one of those kits like the uh, the Typhoon, that, the Airfix Typhoon that I built a while back, where it, everything fits better if you don't close it all up. Yeah, maybe this is their concession to it not closing up well. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I don't mind having the canopy open and everything, but it's it's I, I don't want the nozzle open because the, the cone at the front open. Yeah, yeah, it kind of spoils the lines of it a bit. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'm going to have that all um, like closed. Have the closed nose. You can, you can have two. You see, you can have it open or closed. Mm. But the parts with it are like great. I mean, the detail is really, really. Yeah, I mean, even that's that's the shots here of the uh, of the wheels and so on. And yeah. you get two options with the wheels. You get the resin wheels, and you also get the rubber wheels. Yeah, they're both they're here somewhere. I think to show them. Um, what well, doesn't show the yeah. no, over there, but they're. Yeah, I think the, ori the original kit came with the rubber, and then uh, Edward to pro uh, provide the. Uh, what they call the brassen uh, yeah, and, and, uh, and resin uh, replacements or en enhancements. So it, it looks like an amazing kit. Yeah. It's so frustrating with that 
yeah you you don't you, you see you, i i originally when i looked at it i thought you put the rubber around the 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 resin ones but you don't the resin ones are complete mm -hmm. so, yeah. so so the, the cockpit th those two pieces are on screen now the top and bottom there this this one and this one that's 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 what you're talking about get fitting that to that no no, 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 no i'm talking about the the actual um, piece oh there there it is yeah. there this, this yeah. One. Yeah. yeah i can't yeah. Yeah. right hand bottom yeah that one this that yeah. one and then you've got the other one with it which is um, scroll up yeah okay. that one at the top yeah. mm. and those two pieces fit around the actual cockpit yeah and the the, the two pieces where you've got to glue it they're just not fitting around the cop the actual internal cockpit piece oh they yeah the uh, yeah this, that's the um the, the sort of like the alignment pegs that yeah they, they, when you if you attach it to them then you're you, you, uh, maybe if you remove them and just you know, let it sit naturally where it wants to go yeah that's an idea see, see how that goes yeah um just that, that from saying it it does look like an amazing kit but with the parts and so on yeah, the, the 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 detail on the kit itself is, and it's is, a swing swing wing as well. So yeah, okay, so that that's that's the that's the upgrade oh, tires. Yeah. That's the yeah. So those are the what with tires you get, and I originally thought they fitted onto those, but they're not those. Are, those are actually the difference is uh, the resin ones have got all the writing on sides. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, much much better. The the, the like, uh, you have the, the you have the resin. Uh, wheels there yeah, or the interior of the tires yeah 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 that's just an amazing piece of work it's just a party that you're having the issues mm. Mm. Right. you can do like four or five designs if you want it comes right yeah I, I i would think randall's have got the right idea just just to remove anything that that's a locating pen and just see what happens yeah. there mm. uh, yeah if the location bins don't work then Tape the two halves. I know you already have the, uh, the the wheel well already glued to the bottom of the uh, uh, the tub. Yeah. Um, just remove the locating tab for the tub, set it inside, and then uh, see if there's any jiggle yeah. room. Because it, it's possible that the mounting tabs and that for the for the inner cockpit are designed for the plastic one and not. For the resin one, so it may be throwing it so out. The, 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 tub, the tub of that kit is still plastic. It's just, it's just, just the seats. It's just the, the add-on uh, brass. Uh, yeah, could it be? Could it be the add-on brass pushing like? That's a possibility. With the because there is a, a slight little overhang on some of that photo edge. And this is on the outside of the uh, the cockpit. No, on the inside of the cockpit. On the outside, is it? Or? They may they yeah. may not have taken the width thickness of the brass into account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you say, it's those issues that make the kit. That, that or else, um, yeah. If you maybe. Well, now you know why the real ones cost several million dollars. <laughs> remove, remove, remove the the mounting pegs on the inside of the cockpit walls, and maybe grind down the inside of the cockpit walls a little bit as well. Very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah, you don't want to go right through a thing unless you, yeah. unless you want a battle damage thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I, I hate to make I hate to make the obvious comparison, but it sounds like you're having your shuttle bay issue again. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm playing this time. Um, or the add-on parts make it make the fit worse. Yeah. For, for a hobby boss kit, surprising Randall. Usually, their stuff's not. Hobby, hobby boss are like uh, a bit like to me in a way, in a way that they they almost fall together. But yeah, yeah. So this is originally a hobby boss kit, is it? Yep. Yeah, according to skin mates, yeah. It did, it did probably the the uh, the add-ons that uh, that Edward are providing that may be interfering with the kit. The yeah. Kit. yeah. But, sometimes uh, they, okay. they they do over overdo the add-ons sometimes. If like I said, you Liam, some of some of the, the that photo edge is ridiculously small. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you 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 talk. Oh. You, 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 you got the photo edge for the you know the all restraints on the on the seats yeah yeah yeah. And that, yeah and that comes in too hard which you have to stick together yes. and then push them through a little hole in the chair and it's like are you really going to see this yeah <laughs> but you will know it's there 
Yeah. And I, and I was like the, uh, from, uh, from your padded <laughs> room, you will know it's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a photo etch harness for uh, a 170 second scale yeah. seat that I did a while back. And they actually provided even the, in, the individual pins that you, you know, you push in to, uh, to lock the, uh, the, the, the harness in place. If you were, if it was a real, the real thing and you were actually, actually sitting in the seat. And I was thinking, no way am I doing that. <laughs> I, must, I must admit though, lads, I, I nearly did what Liam did on a couple of occasions when I've been trying to fit it, you know, I've been so close to getting the thing and going like that. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 it's, that's, it's, the, the only kit I've ever done that amount of photo etch on is that Messerschmitt 410 and Randall knows 99% of it, you don't even see the flame and stuff, but it was driving me nuts. Mm. Uh, he just kept adding it and adding it, and it's in it's in the cockpit there. But you know, and if we really I mean going with a magnifying glass, but then that's that's the level that some modelers build to. So, mm. um, but it's not just well. At some stage in the future, I shall return to photo etch, but I don't know when it will be. I've I've only got one. Yeah, I, I, think, I think sometimes photo etch can be a bit of a, a two-edged sword. Yeah, yeah, it's it's mm. necessary on on some models. Yeah. There's no question, but. It's just so frustrating if it's as small as those parts are. Yeah, yeah. I like it when they do the uh, the pre-printed photo etched instrument instrument panels. That's they're they're, 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 they're fantastic. Yeah. But there there are a lot of things where the things are, are so minute and uh, and uh, if anything less three dimensional than the part, plastic part they're replacing. Mm. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. But that, that don't don't give up. I'll just just step back and just take a breath and see because there's, there's there's something something's been missed. I think I, I can't think that they could have been that far out on the, on the design of the model. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, you, you can understand sometimes with older kits that you, when you put two fuselage halves together, you get a, a, a gap at one end or something. That's that happens. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I, I can't see why the cockpit would be stopping you from putting the two halves together. Yeah, it's just they're just not going at all. Yeah, and, Unless you have to be really precise with where you place it, because it only mm. goes in one very, very tiny, you know. Yeah, yeah you you got two like V slots like this. Yeah. One there and one here, and then the, this yeah. this cockpit that sits into it onto the. Yeah. You know that 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 goes on there fine. It slides in, but it just will not. Will not fully close up. Won't close yeah. against it. But um, the same. I was thinking. Uh, it's been a couple of years now. Uh, Heath was building the Airfix Saber, hmm. and he was having problems with the cockpit there. And uh, Bob actually built a version. His built one, and uh, was able to work out where it had gone wrong, as it were. And it turned out it was one of the the bulkheads that Heath was putting in at not quite the right angle. Oh, yeah, I didn't see too far back. So, hmm. I'm just I'm just looking at a, a, a build on Brit Modeler, which has a cockpit. I just want to see if he shows it in with the cockpit fitted, just to see if he's had the same issues. Um, and just I'll just share the screen again. If I do that. Uh, yeah, and go across. You can see that that's what you have at the minute. You have yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah, I mean the photo edge for that is, is great. It looks great. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you all the models and everything. Right? See, the, the photo edge doesn't actually come right up to the outside. The edge. Cup. No, so it's not like it's yeah. overlapping. So, um, I think but, you, could, you could get away with maybe you know sanding down <clears throat> the sides a bit. Mm. You know, a tiny bit at a time until you get until you get a, a fit or the fit that you're after. So that that's it. That would be what I would use. Yeah. Out on the side walls. Hmm. A little bit. Um, the Some nice details there if you need things to, for reference for the guys to. Um, just want to see if he gets to the stage of having it in the cockpit. It must be here somewhere. Um, he's already oh, upgraded set for the photo for the photo action. You know. um, All of a sudden, the uh, review stops. Right, and, there you go. Right in the cockpit, in close to it. If that's fit is okay. Is, is that is that what you're yeah, that's that's the part where it's like you know the two sides there yeah well at, and you know the very front there where it joins down here. here it's just not it's not joining there it's not joining at the back so there's a gap here 
No, it's it's down the, the, down the side, down the middle. You know where the join is. In the in front of the coming. In front of the coning and the back of the way you join it at the back. Yeah, here, here, down the middle. Yeah, yeah, it's, just just ahead of that part there. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. So I'll bring it up. Full screen. Have to come together. Um, so I was trying to bring it up full screen. It's going to take forever now. Uh, stop it. I'll go back. So it won't let me see. So so it's up here. Yes, those yeah. two bits yeah. there, there, and the very back of it. They won't. It's That's, like you, you're forcing them in. Mm. The is this bit like that on each side. But it's where you actually. Uh, he has. Through. You can see there's a bit of filler there. Uh, yeah. um, a little bit, but not. Crazy, he does say a little bit tricky this one. So, yeah. and then there's a ton of fellas there, but that's again, that's that's a. That's just getting the nose. Yeah. Um. Then yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Uh, it's a top view. Yeah. It's a top view. Oh, top no, view. One, one last page. Hopefully, there's a top view. Mm. Um. He seems to have used a bit of filler around the. Uh, the, the base plate uh, or the you know the yeah yeah the behind the um yeah. it's all the bottom view is showing us it's not showing us top view at all typical or uh, uh, it's still not, well it's painted too so yeah, yeah. Mm. it just doesn't seem to have had the issue mm. right oh there's there's a view yeah so it's, it's basically the the by the, this part here and the very back those two pieces just won't seem to come together it's like you got the curvature of the cockpit itself, and those two sides seem to be stopping the back and the front from gluing together. Because mm -hmm. the, um, the 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 lip of the cockpit is supposed to sit on top of the fuselage sides. Um, it's supposed to sit slightly on top, not sort of nestled oh, down right. underneath. So um, I don't know whether mm. that might be having anything to do with it. Mm. Strange, but I, I, I and the alignment on the put a bit of filler in there, but uh, yeah, not but a not, load, it's not no, it's so. standard. Um, the, the fit along the sides of the cockpit are they, is that okay for you? Yeah, that's fine. That, that's that's weird. There's some there's mm. an issue up here, there, it must be. Mm. Yeah, it's um, definitely something, but it's on it's on Brit Modeler, uh, Jamie. If you just do a search for uh, F 14 Edward F 14 Battle Zone. A damage zone that will come up. You see, Same it. Zone. um, well, what site is that on? It's uh, Brit Modeler. Oh, I'm Brit yeah. Modeler, yeah. 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 Just do a search on Google, um, that'll come up for you, yeah. Um, and make it also make sure that the fuselage have, haven't been flattened out a bit, yeah. So maybe it needs to be bowed out, yeah. 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 You know, okay. if you know what I mean. Sometimes I've seen some bottles that maybe it's the way it was stored or whatever, but. The the part gets flattened out, so now it doesn't quite fit. Yeah. Pipe at the top and the bottom. So so then you have to tape it to for it to glue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing, the other thing, the final thing I want to mention about that that kit, it, it which I was quite surprised, you actually get the painting masks for the cockpit. Mm, nice for the, yeah, for the canopy. Yeah, uh, yeah, they, yeah. They, actually, they actually come with it. Mm. I'm quite amazed. Well, you don't normally yeah. it gives you a lot of uh going down of tape and, and back trying to cut along uh canopy beam lines and stuff like that <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So, so, well it's not the ceiling but you actually do get all the cockpit like yeah which makes a massive that's a, a nightmare without so yeah. yeah what a stupid idea who would come up with something like that <laughs> no. oh look wait while we've been chatting, I managed to, to amputate the bottom part of the cockpit. Hey. Right, that's about something done. Um, that's me, um, <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Well, uh, maybe, maybe an, on a, a non broadcast hangout, just even if you get the parts dried and show us what's because it's, it's something, something you're missing, I think. Yeah. Um, we're all all here, happy to help. Anything, oh, no, 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 yep. we're all happy to second hand guess you. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm totally confused. We're, we're, we're perfectly happy. To to point out any mistakes you might have made. <laughs> We're all so obliging. Uh, uh, well, there's, there's two people who haven't had anything to say yet, and I could go any, many, many more. We'll still say, Bob, how's Bob? How are you? In, in, in the middle fine. of the night, as usual, yes. 
Yeah. Uh, I know you were talking about this guy earlier, so I thought I'd drag oh, him out. Yeah. Oh, see, uh, oh, the fire flash. Yeah. yeah I, I, I was yeah. really tempted. Um, if it had been 40 pounds, I think that would have been the one I would have bought. But 60, I, I don't know what, what price it is in the States. But it was around $50. Yeah, yeah. It's about thirty-five oh. pounds, isn't it? Yeah. The lawn dart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's typical Thunderbirds design, but it's beautiful. It's just you know, it's just it's. It's my, other than Thunderbirds too. This is my favorite. Same, all same time Gary yeah. Anderson. Yeah. Design. Yeah, I noticed Thunderbird one and two were the ones that the shop was sold out of. They had Thunderbird three, Thunderbird five, Thunderbird four. Uh, and the yeah. fireplace, but they didn't have one and two. So yeah, the, the less popular ones are still there. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Are, are we? What What are you working on, Amanda Bob? Yourself? And that kid also comes with the uh, all the elevator yeah. cars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Four of those. It was the first episode, wasn't it? I think. Yes. yes. It was, uh, yeah. It was in like six different episodes, I believe. Yeah. It was one mm. of the few models that didn't go back into the bin. Yeah. After they yeah. used it. Here's when my, my inner nerd comes out, trapped in the sky. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the episode title that was the pilot episode. Yeah, uh, I'm working on this little bitty thing here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the second one of you, those you've done, isn't it? I think this yeah. is the second one of these. Yeah, this is the uh, the one in that the uh, Project Bullseye in the it's, Southeast Asia camo. Yeah, it's funny how the engines look like they're trying to escape from the aircraft. <laughs> Just uh, a bit it's of a dry out, that thing. <laughs> a little, awesome. black on the bottom. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's basically finished yeah. as of about 3 o'clock this morning. Nice. Ooh. Nice. It's a bit, it's a bit, of, a bit, of, um, a bit of trivia about earlier kits of, of that airplane having turned up in Thunderbirds. Uh, air, you know, there's... Uh, Engines for aircraft and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's that type of design. Yeah, true enough. Um, Sorry, Bob. One, one of the things I did for it, uh, get my green chair going here. Is that uh, I didn't like the Canon, the M sixty one Vulcan that came with it. So I decided to build one using stainless steel styrene uh, syringes and a styrene tubing. Right. Mm. Looks much better, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It turned out much better. Uh, that, 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 was, that was a defensive weapon, was it, or was it a? Yeah, it was a. It mounts in the in in the tail here. Right. Hmm. It was a rear rear firing gun. My always thought was the planes go in Mach two and you're firing shells out the rear. They're just not dropping out on the ground because they're going. You're going forward as fast as they're going back. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask Newton about that one. I think. Uh... The idea was that they just, they, they just hung and they, 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 before they fell down, they, they were uh, more of a navigation hazard for uh, yes. <laughs> the fighters. They were like so, lines. Like the coyote when he runs out in space and just holds and yeah. Yeah. like he's running and he's not going anywhere. They were like 20 millimeter landmines they were dropping out behind them. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> I used uh, several different paints because I didn't have the all three of the right color. Right colors to get it done. So there's, I got Tamiya and Vallejo paint going down there. But uh, stop sharing. How, how old is that? Is that a, is it an old design or is it a recent monogram kit? I think it came by. Oh, it's old monogram kit, yeah. Um, so fairly ancient. Yeah. Yes, this is. You can see it's it's all. Oh, well, we'd almost say all done now, <laughs> except for the uh, 
the base, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. I've got the large polar light stand for it. And I've got yeah. it sanded. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. So I'm going to uh, use the AK and make it a chrome base or just do a gloss black on it or what I'm going to do with that. Like that. So then that one will be done. Uh, what else next? I got I got this little bad boy here for the modeling community <laughs> box stock building starts ah. with the march. To me, a Lamborghini Countach, which is a mm. a nice kit. They uh, actually early an earlier version of this, they uh, MRC sold of the Tamiya kit and they had opening doors on it, but the, the Tamiya kit doesn't no longer does. It's just kind of nice because those doors are a pain in the butt. <laughs> and then I've got. From that old kit, actually, the wheels ended up on my Corvette that I did earlier, late last year. And then I picked up this bad boy, too. Right about. Mm. Huh? Classic cars. Yeah. Or convertible. It's a pro modeler kit. It's going to be done uh, as, a, that, that, as a street rod where you can chop the top yeah. and stuff. That's not um, that's not Buff's car from Back to the Future, no, no. No, I. Uh, <laughs> Great main single egg gun. This would be the same kit that the uh, Reese Lightning. Ah, Reese, right. Reese car. That's why it, that's why it looks familiar, probably. But yeah. it's not it's not the grease parts and the decals aren't in this kit. Yeah. This is the where the Grease Lightning kit comes from. Yeah. And I was supposed to be at the, the uh, with at uh, Boys at the uh, in San Antonio today for the show, but I hit I hit a deer with my car and totaled it out, so I didn't get to go. Uh, in fact, I'm going today to pick up a new car. I bought uh -oh. it, bought a new car two days ago, and then we got a snow last yesterday, and I couldn't go pick it up, so I got to go today to get it. So that prevented me from going to Texas. Oh dear. Well, not, that's a, a long trip anyhow. So. Yeah, but it's a big, uh, it's my vacation. I usually plan every year. Mm. And I, so far I've spent the car shopping. But the, well, the weather has been different. Yeah. So that's what I got going on. Oh, excellent, Bob. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Looks amazing that aircraft. So, if um, well, I think that just leaves one person here. It just leaves um, the, the, man, that is. the man in the vicinity of Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham. <laughs> Very much Hi. in the vicinity of Birmingham. Hi, Philip. How are you? <laughs> um, a lot, lot, you lot, lot better. Uh, have you been? Have um, you uh, Sorry. I've. Well, there's been a lot going on, and I've not been terribly well as well, so we won't go into that, though. Okay. <laughs> so, consequently, I haven't actually got much, well, pretty much any modeling done as such. I've not put paint or glue to plastic. Um, I've done a bit of sanding, though. don't know if that counts. On this uh, <laughs> 1,000th uh, Enterprise refit, um, but I, I was already working on that probably the last time I was on um, but to get the um, to, to get the correct profile on the B deck oh right yeah uh, is it a decent kit I was tempted to get one of those it it looks very you know for what it is it's very very nice I mean uh, some of the details are a little bit clunky but it can be easily refined but as I say it looks rather nice it's um but I've made no further progress other than doing a bit of um, a bit of sanding on it. Um, I made no progress whatsoever on my uh, uh, Japanese heavy cruiser. So that's <laughs> that's where it was the last time I left it. Uh, there was one thing when Wayne was on. He, Wayne's disappeared now, unfortunately. But because um, they mentioned, someone mentioned about you know our main kit's good. 
Um, yes, they're very good. I've got this one, the uh, Jag Panther. Yeah, so, they are extremely yeah. detailed. Yeah, I'm going to show you one sprue of three that are for the tracks. No, I don't think you can see that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Yeah, you see all these down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's two of those for every one of these. Those are the little guide horns, and there's two guide ah. horns for every one of these track links. And then these individual track links you then glue together That's to fun. build up the tracks. Slowly and carefully and patiently. Yeah. Will, yeah. will these be wor workable tracks, or will you have to? Uh, no, they, these are these are not going to be workable. They're not. They're not designed. Oh, not no. as far as I'm aware, they're not just the the coming out. Hey, I can envision the carpet monster coming out. Yeah, yeah, I've actually got him chained up, so you know when I. <laughs> <laughs> Randall's so, gonna stop yeah. complaining about your cargo pods now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's going to be interesting. I also have a a, a Meng Panther, which has exactly the same. Um, set up so that, that that's that's going to be interesting, but they do look very, come a little, very a little jig for those. Um, yeah, the, the 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 building jig. yeah, the, this this one doesn't, doesn't, but the panther does, so the panther's fine. Yeah, you, you get a um, a jig that gives you the correct sweep up to the drive sprocket, yeah. Mm. So yeah, and the rest of it, I've got a jig anyway that for, oh. for putting individual track links together. So it's the same basic chassis, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think it's slight. Uh, I think there's a difference in length of the actual chassis. Mm. I think um, so. It's not exactly the same. So you couldn't put the lower chassis under a. Uh, a Yag Panther. You can put the lower chassis of a Panther and. For the underside thing like you the jig for the uh, for the track could have been the, great for the other what the um uh, the, the panther jig could be used for the jack jack panther oh yes yeah 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 the the the, the, the sweep would sweep up would be the same so yeah that, that so that's why i'm quite pleased i've got i've got the panther as well <laughs> mm. so yeah i've got i've got the meng panther d and i've also got the the Tacom Panther A, as well. So, uh, bit of a bit of a Panther kick. But I've been spending a little bit of money. I'll show you what I bought, uh, especially today. I don't know if you can see this actually. <laughs> one yeah. Brontosaurus. Uh, one nice yeah. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Yep. It's an old. It's an old kit. I mean, this has been out for donkey's years, but it's. Um, Never been at a price that I was prepared to pay for it until today. So, How much is that kit normally put out? Well, according to this, it is about forty-eight pound fifty. Now I know they used to be about sixty pounds. God. Um, mm -hmm. but this one came in at thirty-two ninety-nine. So I thought I'm having that. Now what does the kit look like? How many parts? Because I can't have many parts in this fellow. It's just like literally not two halves or something, or. Um, no, 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 there's uh, the uh there's, there's the body, right? Oh, on the neck, uh, yeah, a uh, couple of couple of halves of legs, yeah. So, you're not getting much plastic for the money, then? Well, that's not bad, it's <laughs> a fair size, yeah. There's more. Why, why, why the interest? Is this a, is this a boyhood? Dinosaurs. I've always loved dinosaurs. I always loved dinosaurs. It's probably one of the first true interests with dinosaurs. You also get a young dinosaur, an Archaeopteryx, and and an, 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 uh, yes, a, a man on safari. Time traveler. Time traveler. Time traveling. You paint them up as what do you call them in uh, the Jurassic Park movies? Um, the New Zealand actor. Uh, yeah. Then gets me also. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, the, uh, I think, the, yeah, uh, nah, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, it's, he hasn't got the right, right features. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> but you also get player? a nice base as well. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so so is, that, is that a future build, build or an next build or? That, that that's a future build. It may it may yet be a next build because I keep looking at what I've got and what I want to build. And I keep thinking of all the things I want to do with it and not get started on it. So I'm having a bit of a, a situation like that at the moment. Um, also, I picked those up, but they're going to need a lot of care and attention to build up nicely as well. Has anybody ever built that uh, jet with the Enterprise kit? Randall has, the F-104. Well, I've yeah, built, is it, I built so it was somebody else's F one hundred four that that, uh, that I was building, uh, the Atari yeah. one. I've got the right. kit. It's uh, uh, I think the F one hundred four. Yeah, the one hundred four. It's not. Yeah, the... it comes with a mini Enterprise. Yeah, yeah. but the yeah. F one hundred four in that that kit is uh, one of the like the older kits, like from uh, from AMT or something like that. Yeah, it is. I I bought it. I'm gonna use take the decals from it and build a Hasegawa. Yeah. F one oh four with the decals for that. Mm. Yeah, yeah you'd probably four. be better off do, doing a, a a better version of the F one oh four and and they're using one of these mm. to go with it if you wanted to depict that. So the, that the Enterprise kit is the same as the one in there. Yeah. Yeah, the same decals. It's just the F AMT F-104 was such a, it's a 56, well, almost 60 year old tooling now. Mm. It's just mm. basically yeah. two halves that glue together. There's not real much detail to it at all. No. no. Or you take the decals, which are really nice, and a new a new printing and with the hot, get the Hasegawa F-104 you can get for probably 20, $25. Mm. And, uh, I think you could describe it better. as need some work. The the, <laughs> the other one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not. It'd be nice if they did a new a new tooling, but they just took the old tooling and threw yeah. it in the box. Is it is it an accurate mm. shape or is it? Um... It's a shape wise is is right on. It's just not a. It's not real detailed. Yeah. So so it forms the basis of uh, if you wanted to to work at it, if you wanted to put that level of effort into it, you could um, and get a reasonable result out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. You can get a decent kit looking model out of it, but in the end, you just it's, it's a lot of work. It doesn't doesn't have the recessed panel lines and the movable positionable flaps and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. If an, if anyone's tempted in doing the, the planet destroyer from uh, the TOS episode. Uh, the name of the episode. Machine. Yes. Oh, uh, the Doomsday I, Machine. I, 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 came, I came across this. It's oh. a little USB. Now, there's a big one which Randall has seen. I had a big one which screws into a light socket, but this, this is a teeny tiny one, so it's a bit of an old design. I'll show you the light. I'll show you the light. I'll give you the camera, so bear with me, so I'll see if this works. Um, Again, is that it's probably overexposing, but I can get it at an angle. Say, so Liam, stick it in a giant cornetto, you're away. Oh, yeah, no, but the voice was a better there. The effect, which is exact, if you look at the episode, the effect, which is uh, the sort of all the explosions going on in the um, yeah, uh, the ship, it's just not the, that's I am really, really expensive two pounds in uh, BM bargains. Really? Mm. Also, a halfway impressive lights of Zetar. Yeah, yeah, same thing. But so mm. I don't, don't need, the only thing is love to be disassembled because it comes with a dolly, dolly connector that you have to plug, plug into something. You can't, yeah. it's got no lead from it. Um, and then it's got the uh, interior ways. It's got. You know what I found works good on those USB ports, though, is the uh, the stuff that you can, uh, the, the adapter you can get for your cigarette lighter or for yeah. in a car. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 that. That, that that was a genius thing, really. I'm going to use that in the future because, because that comes down to two plus. It comes down to two wires, plus yeah. it, and you don't have to figure out what wire in the USB plug does what. It's probably not that hard. It's probably only two connections off it's that. The two outer. Yeah. It's probably just two outer. Most probably plan. A plus, and it's probably yeah, five volts around. That much less soldering you have to do, I think. 
140 milliamps that uses, so it's not very much fire. Yeah. Is um, it? I right. think you haven't got it apart yet, have you? I haven't taken it apart, but you, you what, haven't. What, yeah. What What do you want to know? I was just wondering if it was a geared motor that was making it rotate that I, slow I would, because... I was thinking the same thing, because it would be useful for other things. Um, if, if you, oh, I, if I'm you, thinking the uh, original Enterprise. The yeah, cell. Um, let, let me just... I shall, I shall, I shall disassemble it. Just talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you were talking about the, uh, the F-104, uh, yeah. Blue, Blue J-4, mm -hmm. I think it was, uh, was the, the call sign. That was as far as I got with mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's, let's have uh, a on. Uh, comes. There's the drive fit of the four pieces for the fuselage. Mm. Yeah. Why? Why did bad. you? It's just an old. Handle? What's that? Why did you? The, the, uh, I ran into a problem with the the the, the, the bare metal finish. Ah. Uh, I used Tamiya's. Um, Lost varnish on it, and it was a bit too strong. And uh, it kind of well didn't do wonders for the for the metallic finish around the tail. Mm -hmm. so, but it but it's salvageable. Not salvageable. Yeah, I just just need to repaint. Well, the the other thing is, if you're doing it as that one with the Enterprise, I mean, it was starting to break up because they have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as it was in the, the tractor beam, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> um, what, what you can do the uh, the post the post tractor beam break up and have it scattered in parts over Omaha. <laughs> yeah. What, what I'll do, Phil, I'll, I haven't got the right screw over to hand it, but what I'll do, I'll take this apart and check because I was thinking the same thing if it had the correct set of, um, if the motor was the correct speed. And it seems to be that sort of, Round about the right four, kind of speed. Four, five yeah. RPM, yeah. Um, yeah and then find idea. out if you can yeah. reverse it by going by sticking the wires in the other way, whether it will reverse the direction. Yeah. I'll, I'll, hold on, I'll, I'll put it on camera again to see. So it's. Is it? Uh, I mean, it's no good if it's got a huge gear <laughs> probably, <laughs> reduction gear in it. You know that. You'll, you'll know. It, you'll know if it has some kind of motor in it if it makes it's making a noise when. Oh, hold on. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take my earphone out and listen. I, I think that would be ideal for your your big enterprise, though. I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm saying, oh, 66 inch right there. Can, mm -hmm. can you hear anything? I'm, no. No. Yep. So it's I, nice I, it's pretty quiet. So whatever whatever way it's geared, it seems to be pretty quiet. Um, but no, they they were. They, they, I assume they had them for Christmas or something. But they're selling them all off now for cheap. But oh yeah. I'm gonna have to try. Um, I know where I'm going after this now. It's um, okay. <laughs> uh, it's in the clearance section. They have them in the sort of the their their lighting type USB section. They have tons yeah. of USB, this, that, and everything. Um, but it's in that. So right. have a look. It's um, and, okay. and, and that is the box. So actually, it was two ninety nine. I thought it was they were just Disco light. Disco they were, light. They were just, they were just yeah, right. and the, the big versions there too, which is the one I showed Randall before, which is a uh, screws onto a normal Edison screw socket. Um, it, 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 we we've managed to kill an hour and forty minutes, guys. So I think we'll probably getting near the end. The only thing I'm hoping, and I've been told that by the next hangout, I should have my Tinga. I I'll believe it when I see it. But um, so I dare Where you order that from, Lee? Uh, from Jumbly's models. Uh, Pre-orders have sold out. Yeah. Um, Pre-orders are sold out. Yes. Mm. I think it's yeah, going to be a if you've pre-ordered it, it you, you guaranteed it, but you can't ah, pre-order because actually no, that? Phil. <laughs> no. Um, because they asked me did I want to prepay to guarantee delivery. Um, they yeah. couldn't guarantee give me one unless I prepaid the full amount that was owed, which I decided to do. What they said was they're getting two batches, they're getting a batch in for uh this week sometime. And then in three weeks' time, they've been promised more. I, th I think the orders have been much higher than Amarang probably expected. Um, uh, so he said, look, if you pay now, I can guarantee you having it. I can't guarantee you having it if you're not even yeah, paid a five-pound deposit. What, 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 are they, what are they charging for that kit over here? That's 100, 128 pounds delivered. Not only um, the uh, I know I think Randall's getting it from an R 
source, which is uh, oh, hopefully uh, anyway, it's uh, Mike Mike models, Kelly, models for less, models for less yeah. here on Facebook, yeah. and they are very keen. Their their prices are excellent. So, um, and they, how much is the lighting kit with it? Uh, eighty pounds. Almost as much as the uh, I yes, crazy. It's 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 yeah. magic. I, I know there is someone in the UK who is producing a lighting kit for it. Um, I had hoped he would join us today. I'm trying to convince him to come on a, a hangout. Um, he does the shows, Tidarium, try Tyridium models. Yeah. Um, Paul Phil's nodding his head, he knows them. I'm trying to convince him that it's worth his while putting an appearance and chatting about what he does. But um, uh, I, I know he goes to all of the different model shows with the lighting kits and he, yeah. I think he does quite well with them. Um, yeah. I convinced him to come on. He, he's doing a double lighting kit. He's doing a full lighting kit from scratch. And he's also doing an accessor, an accessory kit, which uh, goes with the- Oh, he's, doing, he's doing Ralph's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, he's doing, uh, sorry, just for the tor tor torpedo tubes front and back. It's just a little separate unit because, they, because their lighting, their uh, set doesn't include the torpedo firing. He's doing that as the separate. Because he knows people have pre-ordered the lighting kit. But yeah, I mean, the, the only problem we've got over here with Ralph's kits is Ralph's is great kits, and I'm a big sponsor of Ralph's because I like him. But it's the import charges. Right, I, I yeah. understand. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's not you know, it's, to buy local. Yeah, yeah, and um, I, I mean, dare say Bernie could could whip something up to using his little board. That's yeah. why I was saying earlier on, if 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 David's watching, if you saw him to sort it with that um, uh, kit lighting effect on the kit car chat to bernie bernie's superb he, i'm sure he could adapt one of his boards to uh do what you want for that david um I, I think call it call it quits guys and just want to say thanks to everybody thanks to everyone on the uh the chat page uh most most of you actually turned up here apart from carwin <laughs> um and uh tim there's a tim was on as well who i don't know i don't know the name at all but um and thanks to bob for popping in from the far west thanks to to james for showing up today from toronto thanks to jamie from i don't know where you are in england somewhere in england Stoke and Trent. where oh stoke and Trent. Oh. of course yes you have to be potty to live there um uh, i know that's terrible oh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to lou from popping in from raleigh really really uh, thanks, thanks to uh phil for showing up from outside birmingham and uh, thanks to randall from up up the road from me and thanks to me for being the host and uh hope you all no, see you again, you. again don't forget tomorrow night as jack is doing the normal uh, uh sunday hangout uh show up say how i did say you didn't ever want me to do another one i don't care bye bye everybody okay. bye. Bye. Bye.